energy vibration reading for the Libra Sun Moon and Rising sign. Um, need for faith. Uh, don't remember, remember that this is a general reading. So for um, a personalized reading, you have to um, ask. But um, it is the second week of November 2017, and the week begins from the 6th until the 12th I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back welcome all new subscribers and thank you for supporting my channel and I hope you will positively stay with us okay you liberals it is a good week for you whatever situation that is going on it's going to be a very positive week for you liberals you have your own self here so you guys will be standing positive in this week and know that this is your week and you're going to be moving um, in a positive form and in an ambitious form okay let's look you have the energy of the world which is good the six of swords you're moving away from something you have the page of coin a message is coming in um, about money and you have the page of of star um, which is once so you have two pages two messages on Thursday and Friday the first message on um, Thursdays about money and the second message on Friday it is about uh, information that will be coming into you you have the energy of the universe um, which is the world which is good on Tuesday and in the weekend you have a fire and water so uh, it's going to be an emotional it's going to be um, a, a passionate but yet still um, watery so on a Saturday you're going to feel the passion within you and um, you are going to be working out things the three of swords uh, is heartbreak I see it as a loss okay I see it as a loss that's something but yet still you're losing something but you're gaining something which is much better because you have the energy of the world um, as I left the number one energy is because you have the ace you have the ace of um, of, of the ace of um, once an ace of once is a new beginning and this new beginning is going to bring you to dreams so let's ask the angel what other messages are here for you Librans in this week you're going in as a battle I don't know but the ten of swords uh, I keep on coming up the ace of swords is good you're going to be victorious over something a new door a portal is opening up information came to you says uh, six seven so um, this is good so let's see what will be your end number two is going to be here for you number two and number one is going to be here for you so um, um, for some people it's going to be a wonderful time for some people it is good because you are about to change your energy vibration um, you have twice the number seven so you are on a good place you're moving in a good um, direction so let's look at Monday on Monday you have the three of swords this is an energy vibration where you have felt as if you have lost something okay you really felt as if you have lost something and you want to go in battle for this thing you want to move away because you felt as if you have lost something and you need to move away and move forward to something else because you felt are broken and you felt as if uh, and some people are going to feel as if well I'm going to try again I'm going for it because I know that is what I'm supposed to have that is the person I'm supposed to be with that is the situation that I'm supposed to be with so some people will be leaving it and moving on and some people will be saying I'm going in battle for this because this is what I want and this is what I need in my life okay so there are different scenarios that are playing out for a lot of people on Tuesday this is the energy of an earth energy for you guys on Tuesday and this is going to be wonderful because all the lies and all the backstabbing and whatever is going to come to an end and something new and positive is going to be opening up for you so this is good so 
you know sometimes I dislike this card but on another hand what this is saying is that the energy of people lying and not speaking the truth and people you know backstabbing you speaking badly about you that is going to end and you are going to have a positive ending and a new beginning and whatever is happening Tuesday is a good day to make that decision whatever you decide to do your crowning for the week you have the six of sword this is a good good for you uh, you're moving away from whatever the situation is you're nearly off of your journey because it's covering the week and you're going to be victorious over this so whatever the situation is and was that you're moving away from you decide that you're going to use the sword in a good way and you're going to be triumphant over the situation so you're triumphant over a situation because you felt a loss on Monday and you're moving away and this is good because this triumphant and this victory with the source side this week is actually a good week for you guys because what is happening is that you have your own energy vibration to work through the energy of uh, the water the emotion because it's actually an emotional week because you're working on certain aspect of yourself and the loss of the three of swords on but this is just a lot it's not an art break it's as if you lost you have lost someone lose someone or that sort of a thing on a Thursday which seems to be a wonderful day um, a good message is going to come in this message is about um, the page of Pentacles is bringing you a good message a new job offering is going to be opening up for a lot of you so if you are looking for a job you would receive message on Thursday for some people for some people you're going to have a situation where um, you know whatever your um, the page is bringing news and this news is going to be a positive news because the energy this news is, is going to be an overwork or, or a money that will be coming into you and it's very positive so whatever the news that you're going to be receiving and it doesn't matter who you are on Thursday there is going to be a news that is coming in maybe it's on the news maybe you listen on the radio maybe it's on the television but information is going to come into you someone is going to bring you information and tell say something about money and it's actually a door something is going to open up for you where you can make more money or that sort of a thing okay on Friday you have the energy another page another message coming but this message is not a message of judgment this is a message of information that will be coming to you and this information is going to help you to move you along in a positive way and because it's in reverse I want to know because normally when the judgment is up that means information it's like yeah you need to do this and you need to do that but it's in reverse so it's going to be information coming to you so let's see what is the information uh, information of luck um, that your luck that something lucky something good is about to happen so that is good okay so if you realize the energy of the judgment is in reverse so it's not a bad um, information it's good information it's um, luck is coming in to you and this is really wonderful and positive let's look at the weekend in the weekend we have fire and water and on Sunday Sunday is a very is a very good day on Sunday because you have twice seven but I'm going to deliberate on that on Saturday you have the energy of the ace of wands the ace of wands is going to be a new beginning and after all of this that happened the seven of swords there was um, this seven of swords is always deceit um, somebody is stealing or trying to get away with something okay and uh, this is now in reverse because uh, it's, 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 it's either for some people it didn't happen or either um, some people were caught so it is now in the reverse form and the ace of, of, of ones is here so you're going to get a new beginning so whoever you are out there um, if people try to steal something or was deceitful about something it's now ended and 
a new beginning is coming up for you guys so this is good this is a clear clear message on a Sunday as I said it's a wonderful day you have twice the seven of cups and I you know from if you guys realize that from July we have been getting this double whammy I call it the double whammy because it's the universal angels showing us and giving us information and the first seven of cups I love this one I just love this deck I love Asiatic things and it is the seven of cups and this person is dreaming about all these new um, cocktails and small things that he could he's dreaming and a lot of you take the day off because when we dream when we take the day off and just lay down in bed and just dream of what we want and wish that is how our dreams and wishes come in reality and some people think that this is a card that you're in dreamland but if you don't dream the universal angels and guides won't know what is this that you want okay so you know people need to know the meaning of these cards and these cards are actually tools um, that, that the angels and guides help us as readers and you know some people see this as if you're in lolalon and so it's not that it is that with you not dreaming that the angels and guides do not know what to present to you okay and if you don't ask them and if you don't dream then they cannot give you what you would like and then sometimes we feel as if we're so blocked it's because we're not able to dream and and let our imagination goes out in the universe so that um, the angels and guides uh, and you know they will know what is it that we really want and try to help us full uh, fulfill our dreams so as I look at this this week it is a week where some people are going to feel a loss of something some people are going to move away some people are going to think okay I'm going to fight for this because I know this is what I want and you're you know because I, I keep on telling people where was the luckiest day and that sort of a thing and I, I think I'm going to go back it's just that I the last couple of months I do not have the all the time to give you a really deep in-depth reading but this week is going to be a week where um, most of you are going to decide that it's, you know certain things you need to release and you are going to be victorious because you're going to use the sword some people are going to find out that you know there's some things that I need to move away from and look for something new and some people are going to think I'm going to fight for this because this is what I want this is going to be a powerful um, week because it's going to be a very feminine week for a lot of women um, it's uh, and, and, and the feminine energies are going to be helping you guys Friday is going to be one of yours very very luckiest day and um, the number seven is going to be your energy vibration because you have three times the seven in this week or so work with these energies some people are on the right part in doing and the right way how they're manifesting things and whatever is happening Friday a lot of you will be getting good good messages um, let's look uh, Sunday is um, it's not really um, a day or a week of love it's a more a week of a victory and um, moving forward and new beginnings happening okay Friday is going to be your luckiest day so in the in, in the first part of the week whatever that was happening whatever things you know injustice people lying people cheating whatever that was going on it's gonna end and what is going to come in is that um, something better is going to come in your life so some people are going to tend to um, try and fight for something while other people are going to just you know I'm going for a new beginning I'm moving further with my life second half of the week you are going to receive a message about money this is for the people if you're looking for work second half of the week you are going to receive a message over this um, 
a lot of you are in the good part in your life most of you especially people who constantly listen to these readings because um, with these readings you're learning and you're reprogramming yourself to think in positive way and a conscious way so for the people who have been moving towards that you're going to see wonderful energies coming out remember Friday news is going to be coming another page but this news is going to be good it's nothing that has you know has any um, negative influence or that sort of thing it's good news that is going to be coming into you so this is going to be wonderful so I am saying um, to each and every one of you remember that your thought is what makes your dreams come true whatever you think that is what happens so let's look at what is here for you Librans in the second week of you have loyal hearts isn't that good yes okay I love this energy especially this energy when it comes up and I'm thinking about someone and uh, I am with these cards because I, I, I look at these cards for myself too and loyal hearts comes up is loyal hearts and soulmate is the two most beautiful beautiful love energy in this deck and it is really a positive positive situation positive things that are going on so a loyal arts I love this because that means that people are being loyal to you fidelity loyal and devotion Evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will prove they are faithful to you, and you, in return, commit fully to them. There is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart, knowing that spirit is always loyal to you. And this is what I've always said: if no, if, if if no one else is loyal to you, spirit, the universe, the creator, the source of all things is always loyal to you no matter the outer um, circumstances in your life trust and have faith for you are eternally loved always divinely protected and divinely directed in relationship your partnership friendship and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common and right Honest devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal art are being shown to you. Are you being loyal in return? Now is the time for artful commitment and trust in your divine protection. And this is good. So people remember loyalty. Um, being loyal to friends and people around you is the most beautiful thing that you could ever do. I am saying namaste until next week. Yeah.